Subtraction of four digit numbers before starting the subtraction of four digit numbers or bigger numbers, it's better to write the place values first because ones must be written in ones column, tens and tens column, hundreds in hundreds column, and thousands in thousands column. If you have written the place uh, the numbers according to their columns, it will be easy for us to subtract them accordingly. Before starting a subtraction, and it is very important to write the numbers in vertical form correctly. Because we mostly, uh, if we are not writing the numbers correctly in vertical form, it means we are going to do the solution incorrectly or it will be a wrong answer. For example, we have a number in front of us, two numbers actually. We have 2469 and 1042. 2,469 minus 1,042. This is the sum that we need to do. First of all, we'll definitely write the place values so that we are now identifying in which column we have to write which digit. The number before the operation symbol, as we are doing subtraction here, so before the subtraction symbol, the number here, that is circle, is always written at the top. Whether you are doing addition, subtraction, or multiplication, the number before the symbol will be written, must be written at the top. And we are starting from 1, 9 is at 1's column, 6 is at 10's column, and 4 is in 100's column, and 2 at 1000's column. Now, the number after the subtraction symbol or the operation symbol is always written at the bottom. 1042 is the number after the subtraction symbol. We'll write it in the bottom, starting from ones, obviously. And now, as we need to do the subtraction, we will always remember this thing, always subtract the bottom number from the top number. Now, we are going to do the subtraction of the same number. Written the place values. The numbers are also written now. First step that we need to do is start, uh, subtract the ones. Always subtract the top, the bottom number from the top number. Two will be subtracted from nine, right? So nine minus two is seven. So we will write this difference in ones column. Next step is subtract the tens. In tens column, we have six and four. Four is at bottom, so four will be subtracted from six. 6 minus 4 is 2. Next step is subtract the hundreds. 4 minus 0. 0 will be subtracted from hundred, uh, 4 because 0 is at the bottom place and 4 is at top. 4 minus 0 is 4. And lastly, we subtract the thousands. 2 minus 1, which is 1, and we've written it in thousands column. So we get the difference of 1,427. If the top digit in any column, sorry, if the top digit in any column is smaller than the bottom digit of the same column, the regrouping will be done. We cannot do it like if we have nine at top, uh, seven at top, and nine at bottom. We cannot subtract nine from seven directly. We will do the regrouping. And regrouping means borrow will be taken from the column at the left. In addition, we were giving carry, but in subtraction, we take borrow. Ones will borrow one tens, that is equal to ten ones from tens column. 
if it's 10 column, that it will borrow 100 that is equal to 10 tens from hundreds column, and hundreds will borrow 1000 that is equal to 10 hundreds from thousands column. Let's look at this example. We have two numbers 3451 and 1321, and we need to find the difference. The Digit at the number before the symbol will be written at the top, starting from ones obviously, and the number at after the subtraction symbol will be written at the bottom. After writing the number according numbers accordingly, start the steps. Step for subtraction. First, we will subtract the ones. Now, in ones column, we have one and eight. The bottom number must be subtracted from top number. It's eight. Eight cannot be subtracted from ones. We have to identify can we subtract it or not. If we cannot subtract it, it means we must take borrow from the left column. As it's ones column, so ones will take borrow from tens column. We have we are now converting tens to ones. This five will give 10 ones, 1 tens, that is equal to 10 ones. This will be given carry to ones column and it will become 4. Now, this 10 ones plus 1 one that was already there, it becomes 11 now. And 11 minus 8 is now possible. So, 11 minus 8 is 3. Write this difference in the ones column. Next step is subtract the tens. While subtracting the tens, Remember, we now have 4 in 10 column. We don't have 5 because it has already given a borrow. So, 4 minus 2 is 2. Subtract the hundreds. 4 minus 3, that is 1. Write it in hundreds column. And lastly, subtract the thousands. 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, our difference is 2,123. So guys, today we did subtraction without regrouping and in regrouping we converted tens to ones. In our next lesson, we will do subtraction of four digit numbers converting hundreds and thousands in Charla. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.